regenerative no. agriculture is actually good. Like you can you can still buy food from regenerative farms, and those farms are operating at like a, a carbon neutral environment. Complete. Well, I saw Will Harris. I've been yeah. I've been to White Oaks pastures. Oh, uh, have you? Yeah, really? we, you went to Georgia. Uh, yeah, uh, the Beef Initiative had a, a meet up, and that's where you kind of, you know, I'm just helping them out. It's it's not really a money making operation, but it's connecting. It's helping ranchers understand that there is a market that they can sell directly to a consumer. And it's teaching consumers who are interested that they can go to a rancher and and get you know basically the the the, the protein from the source. Mm. And what uh, what the Beef Initiative figured out early on is that who is interested in that is Bitcoiners, because Bitcoiners have money. They got Bitcoin, and they understand value or they have a certain understanding of value and. Uh, they like to hang out and like to do meetups, and then you bring them together, and you have some ranchers talk and the Bitcoiners talk. So now we have ranchers understanding Bitcoin, taking Bitcoin as payment, Ooh. holding on to some of it, which is can be very, very profitable in many cases. In many cases, yeah. Well, like like last week, I I went to to coal and I I bought like you know a third of a of a cow basically all in cuts, and I paid in Bitcoin. And, you know, two days later, boom, he's got 20%, you know, extra value just because the price went up. And I was happy. I'm happy for him. You know, what I feel is Bitcoin good worth now? Has it shifted back it's up? About 23, 23,000. Yeah. 23? Mm -hmm. So what was the high? The Se high? 70. Wow. Oh, mm -hmm. That's a big drop. Sure. sure. So if you bought in at 70, which Ooh. many people did. Yeah. Well, I mean, we buy, well, we got in at 4,000 during the pandemic. Because you know, I think I told you I had four thousand. Really? I had sixty-five <clears throat> Bitcoin that were given to me in like two thousand eleven, and somewhere around two thousand fifteen or sixteen, I'm like, "Holy shit, this is worth nine hundred dollars! Sell!" So I sold it all. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so that's not going to happen to me again. So when it was, it went, you know, everything tanked during the pandemic, and so it was four thousand. Uh, Tina and I said, "Let's buy in. Let's do this." And then you know, we've been doing what's called daily daily cost average. So buy a little bit every single day, and you know you're you basically it's like a savings account, and we, you know we only will spend it on, literally on something like that. Uh, we just keep it, and we'll see. You know, it's like we we save dollars too, but uh, this is kind of a who knows. I mean, there's so much talk of, I mean, shit. Even Elon Musk is probably going to be the the guy who runs the money system. You know, once he has his ex project all in place that he's doing with Twitter, the whole concept is to have that be your um, your wallet. You know, that's all of Silicon Valley wants to be your bank. Um, and I think yeah, e what do you Elon mean? is no, ex no exception. But what do you mean by, like, what do you think he's planning? Uh, well, it will either be a coin that is specific <clears throat> to him or just looking at his overall history where um, things he does usually turns into a government project. Um, Maybe that's where the central bank digital currency comes in. I don't know. You know, we just had Brazil and um, Argentina decide that they're going to uh, have the same money, Fuck. and it will be a, a digital, a digital uh, peso, whatever it's going to be, and that will probably be a completely controllable central bank digital currency, which is being implemented everywhere. Um, and you know, the, the dollar would be the last one. Um, I know that um, I, I, Elon seems a, a very good. Uh, that, like that, he's doing that. That's what his whole overall plan is. I think. You know, he's always said he wants to be the, like WeChat, um, and in China, everything's on WeChat, including the government, who then can turn off your money if you're <sighs> a bad boy. Yeah, I think that's coming. So it's a bit of a hedge to have Bitcoin, and Bitcoin is the only I think we have currency to that can do that. that it, yeah, with everything that we have. Yeah, the, the but, idea yeah. that there's a centralized digital currency connected to a social credit score system yep. is absolutely fucking terrifying because people yeah. self-censor already. Yep. They self-censor just because they're worried about other people's opinions. Mm -hmm. Like that's what virtue signaling is all about. Mm -hmm. What virtual signaling is all about, virtue signaling is people sending out a signal on Twitter or social media to let everyone know that you're a good person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of those people are not really good people, yeah. but they want to send out that signal and they're terrified about, you know, the repercussions of not being a good person. So the, the only way I know to resist that is literally Bitcoin and, and, right, but, and only Bitcoin. But what I was getting at was that, like, that sort of self-censoring comes mm -hmm. with no financial repercussions. What, if you really want to get people to 
pay attention to what you're promoting and what you're, you know, if you're the government and you're you're telling people to behave and think in a certain way and follow a certain ideology, mm -hmm. if it's if they're financially penalized for not following, which they mm -hmm. are in China, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. in China, if they vary. If they stray from the path and you know criticize the government or criticize or talk shit about anything, like you can't fucking buy plane tickets. You, you're not going mm -hmm. anywhere. Well, arguably, this is already happening in the United States. If you um, run a weed store or any other type of, um, or you know, if you have a website that is uh, um, considered, you know, too conservative, too crazy, QAnon, whatever, then you can't get a bank account. You can't use uh, any, you know, any of the payment systems. They literally debank you, so you can't receive money. Um, and I think the self censoring comes from that. Certainly, advertising related. If you uh, if you have a, a podcast or you do anything with advertising, um, you know that is a wedge. You know, people will go after your advertisers and use that as a wedge. Well, you know what that's like. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. to, to bring you down. Um, and so that is, it's already kind of here and, and that's not a good thing. You know, we we have to resist thing. that. Yeah. We have to resist that. It's just, it, the problem is it's, it's so normal for people to do that. It's such a natural human instinct to try to punish someone for, for going outside of the lines. And then people who don't even benefit from it financially, they will be your reinforcement army. They, they, will, they will get people to stay inside those lines 